right my loves let's check out this trailer this is for Cabernet let me tell you a little bit about Cabernet Cabernet it says changes brewing threatening the established ways of alluring supernatural aristocrats sustain your facade as one of the living and struggle with your morality as a young vampire where you retain your humanity or descend further into the horror you have become. So it's a vampire one. I'm excited. Uh, let's check out the trailer then for Cabernet. I, of course, heard tell of creatures. Demons who stalk the nights. Fairy tales. This looks lovely. Mere stories buried deep in dusty books. Mm. But even when faced with the truth, the doctor and me only had more questions. Ooh, what did it mean for me? For my new home. Or you can build relationships with for people. My That's family. good. For the choices that you make, I like that. Drink was my father's vice, not mine. Or so I thought. Mm. Be careful. I was warned. <gasps> Demons are hereditary. Oh, no. Oh my goodness. Cry Kinora. So yeah, it says that this this will be fully voiced um when it gets released. I don't know when it's being released. Um But here we go. So let's begin the story. I'm glad it's a vampire one. I, I haven't played a vampire game in ages. So I'm I'm looking forward to this. Did that just get big? It did, didn't it? It just got big. And we're not capturing all of the game anymore. Gosh darn it. Bear with. Okay. Let's see. Eastern Europe, end of the 19th century. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming here today to say goodbye to my Liza. I never thought I would bury my own daughter, my own blood, my pride, yet. I, 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 I can't do this. Me to please say something, I just can't. There, there. It's all right. <clears throat> what can I say about someone dying so young? Especially someone as special as Liza. If I may, I won't dwell on the circumstances of her tragic death today. Instead, today we celebrate her life. Despite her obvious calling for medicine, when she was little, I always thought she would become... <gasps> we get to... We get to pick? Ooh, um... A musician? Yeah, we're gonna go music. A famous musician. You should have seen her with her fiddle when she was only five. The instrument was half her size, but when she played, oh lord, did your heart start filling up. Such a bright girl, always a top student, always the pride of her parents. By the time she graduated, she had a thirst for the written word. Liza must have read every native and foreign book there was in the school's library. To my shame, I am not so well read myself, but she used to teach me about all the classic books and authors. That served me very well at dinner parties. I can't tell you how proud we all were when she was accepted at the medical academy. I have no doubt that she was destined for greatness. But to become a doctor, one of the first women to achieve that in the whole country? If someone deserved that honour, it was our Liza. But my niece was so much more than a gifted student. Stainless, thank you so much for the uh, for the follow there. Welcome in. 
with all her talent for science, what everybody truly knew about her was her artistic nature and angelic voice. Do you remember her summer night performances at the cabin? Her singing? No matter the song, time or place, it felt like it spoke to you alone. Haunting, otherworldly, beautiful. <clears throat> uh, thank you so much for the follow, welcome in. She was my favourite niece. Let us raise a glass to her. Pour some vodka for Kolya too. He's old enough to send his sister off. <laughs> a piece of my soul went into the ground with her today, as I am sure many of yours did. Let those pieces help Liza wherever she is now. To Liza. To Liza. Right, lovely. <laughs> I should probably change the game on Twitch, shouldn't I? When I was a little girl, I often had trouble falling asleep. My mother used to sing me this lullaby to comfort me. Tonight, I slept deeper than I had in my entire life. I had a disturbing dream that a string was coming out of my mouth. Oh. When I started pulling it, I realized that it came from all the way down my throat, buried somewhere deep in my body. Gross. <laughs> I kept pulling, but I couldn't go too quickly for fear of burning myself with friction. Oh. Finally, the whole string was out. Do you know what it reminds me of? You know, did anyone ever used to have those cherry laces? Like if you accidentally swallowed one, and then you would start to pull it, but you would feel it in your throat. So gross. So gross. I felt relieved, but also strangely hey, Men empty. and Bubbles, welcome. How are you doing? I realized that I was in my bed, with my mother sitting beside me, crying. Oh. I didn't know why she was in tears, but I knew it was my fault. You're doing great, thanks. How am I? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm looking forward to the weekend. <sighs> oh, crikey, Nora. Dear Lord. Mom? Oh. Cola? So apparently this will be fully voiced when it gets released. I'm already liking Liza's voice. Can we use our... Oh, we can also use this. But I think for this, I'm just gonna use keyboard and mouse. Either this is a nightmare, rhyme and hell, but this feels too real to be a dream. I think I can pick that up. An old kerosene lamp that someone left in the room. Uh, okay. Kerosene lamp was added to the inventory. I'm wondering if, like, maybe I can. Maybe it will be easier to. Oh yeah, it is actually a bit easier on the, on the thing. That text is going far too fast, but it's it's much better on this actually. I'm just I can't get into a settings menu of any kind. I was hoping to turn the volume down, but um, uh, I've already done that. Okay. Can't do anything here. Okay. Let's. Oh, hello. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited for the weekend. My medical journal from the academy and my family medallion. Oh. Who could have brought this here? Why am I so dirty? A handcrafted sterling silver medallion passed on to Liza by her father. Okay. Press tab to access the journal. Is there another way to do that, do we think? No, okay, so maybe, mm, it's gonna be like a combination of keyboard and mouse. Okay, so we've got like a yin-yang scale. It's pretty cool. 
Oops. The Ying Yang Scale Quests. Welcome to the High Life. Escape the Chamber. Got a calendar. It's the 1st of June. Relationships. I like this already. Terms. Toasting at funerals. According to some traditional superstition, no glass touching is allowed when toasting for a dead person. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so you can't toast when you do that for a dead person. You can't actually touch glasses. I see, I see. Yeah, you just raise them, I guess. Uh, Alright. Yeah, that'll be the morals. Interesting. Lilies of the Valley. My favourite flower. I do quite like a lily Who of the Who put them in this room? It's disturbing to see them here. Locked. Oh. Um. Hello? Anyone? You need to find some kind of key then, huh? The cupboard is also locked. <gasps> Hello? Who is this? I'm locked inside. Please help. Are you still there? Maybe you can't talk? Please knock twice for yes and once for no. They Thank there. goodness. Can you help me open the door? Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Will you help me? No. So they can let her out, but they're not going to. Oh. What is it that you want from me? I don't have much, but I can owe you a favor? Yes, a favor. Then it's settled. Whoever you are, do you hear me? If you open this door, I, Elizaveta Morozova, will be in your debt. negotiated a favor we've negotiated a favor um. ah what the hell is this my shoulder just felt like it was burning up i can't see anything from this angle i should check up on it later weird oh it's open we didn't get to no unlock one. the cabinet. Oh. What have I gotten myself into? So I escaped the chamber by negotiating a favour. Access the character sheet to distribute Liza's new skill points. Skill points? Earning experience points increases your rank, allowing you to upgrade your skills. Science and logic. I think I want to increase those. History and politics. Um, I think I'll go with another literature and writing. Okay, so we're really good at music and the arts. We're pretty good at literature and writing and we've got a little bit of knowledge of science and logic and history and politics. Uh, let's seek a way out. All right, uh, let's explore this way. I don't really know. There's nothing that way. Okay. Oh my goodness! What are we gonna find? Hello? 
Can anybody hear me? What if there's another person in there? Oh, hello. What a peculiar painting. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, so if I had better history, I'd be able to um, make out what that might be. The husband and wife in the picture don't look very happy. No. If I had to guess, I'd say it wasn't the perfect marriage. Okay, so if I had more history... Mm. Oh, mm, that's interesting. So there's going to be certain things that I can't do because I haven't got the right skills. I love games that do that. It smells like death here. Like in the academy when we left a cadaver out for too long. Only, it's much worse than that. There's someone's money in here. Oh, wow. I could live on this for a week. Take it. After all that has <laughs> happened, I think I deserve this. A little bit of a bargaining chip. Nice. Uh, I've gained nihilism? Liza's morality is still shaping. Certain choices will provide you with humanity or nihilism points. Uh, some choices will only become available to Liza after she reaches certain levels. I'm totally gonna make her a nihilist. We're gonna go. We're, we're gonna have no humanity. <laughs> no, no humanity. Thank you very much. The mirror Ooh. is covered by a sheet. People only do that when someone dies. Mother explained that this is so the dead soul does not get lost and trapped inside. Silly superstition, of course. Of course. Mm, let the cover Still, stay. why risk it? Why risk it? God saves the man who saves himself. Sure. What would you guys have done? Would you have, would you have taken it off? I am curious, but... I'm curious, but would you guys have taken the cover off the mirror? I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to. The mirror is covered by a sheet. I'm gonna do it. People only do that when someone dies. I want to explore all Mother options. explained that this is so the dead soul does not get lost and trapped inside. Silly superstition, of course. Let's do it. Let's, let's do we it. We live in the age of science where there's no room for this nonsense. I've gained experience points. Oh. What is this? Where is my reflection? I can't see myself. Oh. It... Must be a trick mirror. Must be a trick mirror. <laughs> sure. We've got experience points, that's cool. Yuri. Uh, oh no! I needed science three. I do have experience points though. I could, I could, um, I haven't ranked it up, but Gosh darn it. Oh, this is unbearable. What, walking up a few stairs? I'm a doctor. I can get through this. I just need to look straight ahead. Okay. Give me strength, no matter what is on the other side. Or who? Got some more experience points. Higher society. Uh, something is wrong. My head is spinning. I feel like the floor is slipping from under my feet. Oh gosh, I'm all a mess. Are you all right? Mind your own business. It's rude to stare at a lady. Sorry. 
locked. Me. I'm starving and the food looks so fresh and delicious, but the strangest thing is I have absolutely no appetite for it. My sources report that the new mayor will be sworn in. Oh gosh, this is all going too quickly. Excuse me. I don't bite. Um, you, because you look like that in their fancy ballroom. Yeah, I know, but no one wants to speak to you. <laughs> Is this a vampire party? Nobody must have actually inducted you. How typical. No surprise with the men around here. Asar, why isn't she why is she in such a state? She was not supposed to wake. I'd love to catch you up, dear, but sadly I have some urgent business to attend to. Thanks to this gentleman over here. Asar, be a darling and show this young lady around when she's decent. Stay correctly, your head must be killing you. Here, drink this. What is it? If you know too much, you'll grow old soon. <laughs> Trust me, it will lift your spirits. All right, let's go. Um, hold. Oops. Oh, okay. So we actually can get to a menu. Hold to drink from the glass. do it. Whatever it is, it's beyond delicious. It's sweet and thick and tastes like cherry and wild strawberries. Thank you, I do feel a lot better all of a sudden. Now go change, we can't have you gallivanting around in those scrubs. <laughs> it's a nice dress about your size in the cloakroom. Consider this my welcome gift. Thank you kindly, madam. healthy hold shift to increase your walk pace I wonder what that would be on what would that be on what would that be on this because I'm using I'm using this so it's not fully thingy then is it I should get dressed before exploring. Yes, we probably should. Maybe I can go out up here now. Yes, let's go and get dressed. I wonder if. I wonder if we can. That should do it, hopefully. Oh, we're all clean now. Oh, I wanted to be able to like change our, oh, can we change our clothes? Goodness, this must be the dress Countess was talking about. Such an ornate Western dress, it must cost a small fortune. I want nothing more than to change out of this horrible nightgown, but this is just too much. Do it. <gasps> yeah. Indie Gamiacs, how are you doing? Oh, look, we're gonna wear a fancy dress. We're gonna put on the dress. 
It's perfect. Fits like a glove. Um, how's things? Hello from Latvia. Oh, is that what you, where you're going to be for a little while? Or um, Countess sure has excellent taste in literature. In other circumstances, I'd spend all day reading here. How is it? How's Latvia? I'm kind of, um, like I said, I'm living vicariously through you for a bit. Two weeks seeing family. Oh, lovely. I still don't know what's happening here, or at least I hope I don't. But delaying the inevitable is just tying my stomach in knots. Do you know about this game? Surely you must. Surely you must. You must know about this game. Um... I believe that the demo's only just come out, maybe? I need to find that young man and learn the truth. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit bit of a vampire-y game and I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, but I am playing on this, but some buttons, some interactions rely on me using like shift and tab and stuff. So, um, so it's kind of a bit of a mishmash of of using both. You've not seen this. This is called Cabernet. Um, it's like a Victorian horror kind of game. Uh, we are a newly awakened vampire. We have to make choices in our dialogue and choices about what we do and it affects our morality. So you can kind of, if you look here, you've got like a yin and yang and you've got a good, like you've got humanity and nihilism and I'm going down the bad route. And you can choose at the beginning where, where you want to put your skill points. Um, so yeah, we're a newly awakened vampire. We're just, just learning a little bit about ourselves at the moment. Um, can we talk to this guy? Yes. Good evening, Kassar. Oh, and you get to build relationships. So like, for every time you interact with someone, your relationship, you'll get like relationship points with them, which is quite cool. Ah, there is our Bell of the Ball, Lisa, right? Oh, and this will all be fully voice acted when it comes out. I'm not sure when the release date is. You actually don't look half bad when you're not covered in graveyard dirt. Graveyard dirt? First the Countess, now you. Why is everyone going on about funerals? Surely an educated lady like you must have put together who you are by now, haven't you? I don't want to guess. I'd rather not guess. Just please tell me straight. Who are you? Simply, we are vampires. <laughs> Am I dead? Does that mean I'm dead? Dead, alive. Who the hell cares? Trust me, Lisa, you won the lottery. I don't even remember how I died. That actually does happen quite a bit. That memory usually comes back soon enough. Why is there no re is that why there's no reflection in the mirror? If that's what you're concerned about, you look just fine. <laughs> um, okay, let's move on. Um, what about my family? When can I see them? Uh, I was worried that you'd ask me about that. Technically, they think you're dead, and it's best for everyone if they keep thinking that. And it's true too. But I can't just leave them like this. They have to know that I'm all right. Look, I know that this is too much for you to take in right now. Maybe that's a conversation we should revisit at another time. Uh, okay, let's move on. I have so many questions. That's what I was afraid of. Theory is not my forte. I'm a proponent of learning by doing. Why don't you go talk the ears off some other guests while I finish smoking in peace? Uh, so today we'll be checking out Cabernet. I'm hoping to check out Tavern Talk as well, because they've just released a demo, and maybe Sea of Stars, if we have time. Um, I'm hoping that there won't be long demos, but we'll see. Uh, after that, I can show you what it's really like to be one of us. I suppose I can do that. Could you at least tell me a little bit about the people, like the guests in there? Oh, come on, where's your spirit of adventure? I'm sure you'll figure it out on your own. All right, then. I'll go and see if someone can actually help me. Thank you kindly, I'll be back soon enough. No rush. <laughs> okay, so let's have a little look at our 
relationship. Oh, okay, relationship. So I think I have to actually literally go across to here. Where is Hussar? Hussar? Oh, there he is. Um, okay, so it says full name Stefan Road. So I wonder why he's called Hussar then. Status undead, address unknown. Countess, Sophia all, all, all over, Sophia all over. Okay, and that's all we've met so far. All right, socialize with the guests. Okay, we can't talk to you, all right. Who's this creepy guy with the creepy puppet? So the text is all moving like way too fast, but that's fine. Oh, okay, so he's just got a creepy doll. We'll talk to him. I don't know how, but I can just sense that he's not one of us. Such a strange feeling. Attraction? No, but something familiar. Okay, so we're gonna eat him for sure. He's most certainly human. Hello, human. Oh, hello, it's you, the lady in the nightgown. How are you feeling? I was really worried. Oh, much better, thank you. I'm Liza, by the way. Oh, of course, where are my manners? I'm Petya. It's a pleasure. You were the only one who seemed to care about my illness. Oh, nonsense. They're a lovely bunch around here, just all very busy. The third group I'm pitching my dolls to, and everyone keeps running off for urgent business. Uh, did you say you're selling dolls? I'm making them, yes. I think I heard that you have one with you. May I take a look? Of course. Matilda here is my favourite. I'd love to get some honest feedback. Well, what do you think? Uh, beautiful. It's just lovely. So detailed and human-like. She reminds me of the one I had when I was a little girl. That's exactly what I wanted to accomplish. Thank you. I knew someone here would appreciate it. I'm hoping to show her to the Countess. With her approval, the sky is the limit. You know, making toys is what I wanted to do since I was a little boy. My father always called this foolishness, among other things. He said it's not manly work. I never managed to convince him otherwise. Oh, I'm sorry, that must have been tough. Well, here I am, still at it. I do have a feeling that I'm onto something with Matilda. Just you wait. My gut tells me tonight is going to bring something special. And it's never wrong. How did you end up being invited here, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, it's all thanks to Elisa, the lovely young woman in a yellow dress. She saw me at the town market and saw some real potential in my work. Oh no, he's gonna die. She said that people here at the manor might be interested in seeing it, and he didn't have to ask me twice. Hmm, I see. And how is the pitching going so far? Oh, I'll admit it's a little slow, but the night is still young. You're an optimistic guy, aren't you, Petya? Oh, my mother used to say that my hope will be the death of me. Oh, fuck, he's gonna die. We're gonna eat him. What's the point of living if you don't believe in people and yourself? Mm, you may be right about that. At least I truly hope you are. I should go. Best of luck with everything, Petya. Hopefully everything works out for the Countess. Oh, thank you, Liza. You're very kind. Totally gonna eat him. Totally going to eat him. Uh, the Countess's Cabernet. <laughs> the Countess's Cabernet. Definitely talk to her. Who's she? Hello, lovely. I don't think you've seen you around here before. I'm Arbun. I'm Liza. Good evening to you. Hmm. You don't sound so sure. Is it really a good one for you? Mm, you're right. If I'm honest, it hasn't been the easiest night. <laughs> That's what I thought. My advice is always be honest, unless you absolutely can't be. In the end, it doesn't make everybody feel better. 
Oh, that's a good piece of advice. Stick with me, lovely. I'm chock full of them. Uh, we've got any advice for a new vampire? I've only just been turned and all of this is very new to me. May I trouble you for some advice? Hmm. Hope you don't mind me asking, but does someone in your family enjoyed wine a little too much? Oh, my father. <laughs> wine, vodka, anything he could drink, really. Hmm. You aren't clairvoyant, are you? Everyone becomes a clairvoyant if they live long enough and pay attention. I saw you drinking that glass earlier, and I think you should be careful around it, lovely. Oh, alcohol is my father's problem, but it isn't mine. Not alcohol you should be concerned about. You can keep away from it, from it if you want. Blood, however. You will now have to drink whether you like it or not. Whether I like it or not? Demons are hereditary, lovely. Always remember that. I couldn't help but overhear you are a wine expert. Why dabble? I run a literary salon in town and serve drinks around there. A literary salon? That sounds amazing. How exciting. All kinds of interesting people must be coming by. Oh, you'd be surprised, lovely, and mildly disappointed. I'd love for you to stop by one day. I'll treat you to a round of something nice. Oh, I'll make sure to visit. Since you're an expert, may I ask you about the wine that the Countess gave me? I'll admit I found it delicious, but it wasn't really wine, was it? It was not. Cabernet was sort of our code word for blood, so we don't shock any innocents. And then we just got used to it. Funny how language works, isn't it? Yeah, funny. Um, <laughs> I should get going. Good luck. Oh, I have a feeling we'll be seeing each other soon. Right. Great. Uh, oh, the lovely lady in the yellow dress. A <laughs> Russian roulette? Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, she's a sassy one. She just said, who knew the second time I'd die it would be a boredom. Now would you look at this pretty picture? I could barely recognise you from before. Where did you get that dress? Oh, it's a gift from the Countess. She's very generous. Huh. Oh, I thought it looked familiar. Name is Elisa, by the way. Uh, Liza, it's a pleasure. We've got Elisa and Liza. Uh, may I ask who the young man you talked with? Who was the young man you talked with earlier? Oh, who? Petya. Yes, why are you interested? Oh goodness, no, I was just making conversation. Don't be shy, we're not attached. Petya's human, I picked him up at the town market. He's a salesman, a ridiculously bad one at that. You two are not an item. May I ask, why did you invite him over? Because it was my turn. Turn for what? <gasps> oh, to bring a human. To spice up the eternity. Oh, I bet she's, it's her turn to bring the human. So, I've just been turned today. Oh, congratulations, that must be quite shocking, thrilling even. I'm envious, really. Yeah, uh, thanks. I'm just not quite sure how to process all this yet. What does one, oh, what does one even do with this? Like being dead, drinking blood, who knows what else? Same thing everyone else does around here. Masticating plain eternity day after day. Spicing it up any way you can. Hence the Russian roulette. We're already dead, aren't we? What else is there to lose? Do you fancy around? Maybe some other time. Ah, suit yourself. Uh, so is it true what they say? Vampires live forever? We exist forever. We don't live. But then again, if you do... Oh, does this mean that we can't die? I mean, like, stop existing? No, oh, sweetheart, there's nothing easier. Just stop drinking blood for a few days, fall from a high roof and just step out into the sunlight. Oh, I should probably be writing all of this down. So now that you have eternity on your side, do you consider your existence more valuable? Uh, I suppose so. I suppose infinite time does add some gravity to it. I see. 
that case, how would you compare the value of your new existence to, say, Petya's? Uh, I guess Petya's is more valuable? I gained some humanity? Oh no. <laughs> Like you said, I what I, oh, I am now is not like real life. Fair enough, still it's an interesting thought experiment, isn't it? Indeed. Right, let's move on. I think someone's calling for me. <laughs> right, we've socialised with all the guests. We have met some wonderful people. Uh, Petya Yolisiev. He's alive. Address unknown. Okay, who else have we met? Arban. A oh, no. And we're neutral with Elisa. Okay, so there's no one that like super likes us yet. I think Petya likes us. <laughs> Everyone else is fairly neutral. Right, um, can I go outside? Right, I've spoken to everyone. Now what? Hello, I'm back. Good timing, I just finished up. Yes, how lucky. Don't be snappy, Liza. Smoking is an important routine for a soldier. Can't be interrupted. <laughs> okay, so, are there any other questions you have left for me? Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, that's so rude of me. Um, uh, what is going on in the basement of the manor? It's absolutely terrifying down there. Oh yes, the basement. If I were you, I would just forget all about it. Excuse me? All I know is that the Countess conducts her business and she doesn't enjoy people meddling in it. If it's so confidential, how come I ended up in there in the first place? Minor oversight. You were supposed to be moved upstairs before you were up, but it appears that you are an early riser. And whose oversight was it, may I ask? Well, let's not focus on casting blame, shall we? I say all's well that ends well. So are there any other questions you have left for me? Uh, yeah, why did my shoulder burn? Who ended up letting me out of the chamber? If I'm honest, I haven't the foggiest idea I thought you knew. Well, I don't, and whoever it was gives me the goosebumps. On top of everything, I ended up promising them a favour. I felt a bad burn on my shoulder right after that. Do you know what could possibly cause it? Oh, let me take a look. Oh, brother. What? What is it? Uh, could be nothing, really. No need to worry. Just make sure you show this to the doctor when you see him, alright? Alright. So, are there any other questions you have left for me? Okay, so we've got a bad burn on our shoulder. If vampires are real, does that mean other fairy tales are? Well, you have to be more specific. What are all of these? Mazulkas? Demovios? Demovios? Have you got any Demovios? Uh, <laughs> that's what we're playing right now, right? Demovios? Uh, ghosts? Yes, no, yes. We'll spend all night here if we keep talking about flora and fauna. If you want my advice, focus on yourself first. That always ends up working out for me. Right, I suppose that's it for the time being. Uh, let's have a little look. Perfect. Right, he just, he just wants another cigarette. If you don't mind me asking, what do you make of all of this? I take it you've done a couple of laps around the ballroom, learned a little more about what it's like to be one of us. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> For starters, I'm dead, apparently. Oh, get over it already. What's even the difference between being dead or alive? You can walk, you can talk. What else do you need? What about my immortal soul? Oh, see, I just knew you were that type, getting all bogged down in the details. It's a minor inconvenience, really, for everything you get in return. And what do we get in return? Have you read Thunderstorm? Oh, I should have done, because I'm like a literary genius. I'm not so sure why. Well, unlike Katerina in the play, you no longer need to wonder why people can't fly. <gasps> because we can? Uh, how did you do that? By sheer will, Liza, it's very simple. How are you even talking with me in such a state? That's yet another benefit of being one of us. Telepathy. <laughs> you can project our thoughts into people's minds. I 
prefer it really. I find normal speech kind of primitive. But why don't you do it all the time then? I'd love to, but you don't want to get used to it and scare a human by accident. Now why don't you try it? Let's see what kind of a bat you are. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, oh look how cute we are. Oh, we're such a cute little bat. Um, this is beautiful. Look at me. Goodness. Isn't this a hoot? Come on, I'll show you around. <laughs> oh my god. We actually get to be a bat. Bat indicator in the bottom left of the screen informs whether bat shifting is currently possible. To land while in bat shape, descend on a surface from above until a landing circle appears underneath. And then press something. Okay, so I'm having to like use a bit of keyboard and a little bit of mouse, but I'm mostly doing it on this. <gasps> bat! Oh, we're bat! I can't believe I'm actually flying. All this talk about death, but you don't, don't you feel more alive when you're a bat? Oh my god. Some of the text goes too fast. Can I? Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, that was so much fun. Take a look. Oh, we're definitely gonna be having a drink, right? Is this what you wanted to show me, a drunk peasant? What I wanted to show you was how to use your new powers. Meet Trophim. He's the Countess's former serf, now custodian and coachman. That is so cool that you can be a bat. I love that. Um, I'm really enjoying this. Among other things, he makes sure no one goes in or out of here without her permission. Important man. Now come with me. <gasps> I wish there was a way to become a bat without having to click all the time. How is life, Trophim? For sorry, is that you? The bottle you gave me. Highest quality, much obliged. I can see that it's nearly empty already. Oh, all right, enough pleasantries. Watch this. <gasps> what happened to him? Is he all right? He's fine. We call this enchantment. Enchantment? What does it do exactly? It makes people tranquil. Why are they in a trance? They don't feel pain or have a clear memory of what happened. <gasps> So they don't remember anything once they're enchanted? Not quite. They may not remember what happened, but they won't forget how you made them feel. Sounds like a, a subject for some awkward conversations. You don't know the half of it yet, you'll see. How do I enchant someone? I don't know if I can whistle like you. Oh, don't worry, whistling is just for me. It's like a cure for hiccups. Everybody has their own way. When you'll need it, it'll come to you. Oh, how does it work? Oh, who does it work on? Does this mean you can just come up to anyone and make them tranquil? In theory, but it's not quite that simple. Firstly, they have to like you, an important condition. Without it, the charm won't work. Secondly, you should only do it on humans. It doesn't work on other vampires. You're going to move to the couch, but you're going to be lurking. No worries. No worries. So this is just the first demo that we're checking out today. It's called Cabernet. And we are a young vampire. We've just woken up as a vampire and we're learning how to be a vampire. Uh, there you go. I didn't say that. Oh, so it could work on other vampires. There are rumours that the best of the best can indeed enchant their own kind. I don't even know if the Countess has this kind of power. Besides this would certainly not be considered ethical by our vampire brother and sisters. I bet they wouldn't mind having the power though. <laughs> oh, without a doubt. Right. So why would you want to enchant someone? Oh, I thought you might ask. There are two main reasons. One, people in a trance are easily suggestible. You can use that to influence their thoughts and opinions. <gasps> well, they do. Oh, well, what is the second reason? <laughs> Just, just skip over it. Oh, so we can have a drinky. Are we going to have a drinky? Oh, yes, yeah, so we're having a drinky. Oh, what have you done? 
just opened him up for you. Don't worry, he'll be just fine unless we bleed him dry. Come here, it's time for you to learn how to feed. I, I don't know if I'm ready. You're as ready as you'll ever be. Well, how do I turn? Just relax and let your instincts take over. It'll come naturally. To turn into a vampire. Oh, you turn into a vampire by choosing it in the ability wheel? Where is the ability wheel? We haven't been introduced to the ability wheel yet. Uh... Oh no. Okay, we've not been introduced to the ability wheel yet. We've not been introduced. How... How do we do that? How... What's the ability wheel? Oh, here we go. Um... Turning into a bat. So we don't want to turn into a bat. Mm. So at the moment I feel like I can only... I can't turn yet. What? How do I... I can only turn into a bat. Okay, how do I... Um... Mm. I haven't been taught how to use the ability wheel. And I can't, um, I can't move that arrow at all. All I can do is turn into a bat. Uh, I may have to, I actually may have to look into this. Is this like a thing that I've missed? So I can bring up the ability wheel. But I can't, um... I can't move it. I can turn into a bat. But then I can't do anything else. Oh no. Do I click one of these maybe? No? Oh, wait. Something is moving. When I do that, wait, something does move when I do that. Oh man, that's so annoying. Can you guys see that? And it doesn't have like a controls thing. But if I go into here, I don't know if you can see, but if I go in to the ability wheel and then I click like the back button, like it actually does shift something. So if I hold that and then maybe Like, I, I, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. I can't turn into a vampire. Um, so for me, I've, unfortunately, that might be where it ends, which is a real shame. I literally can't move the ability wheel. So it falls down. <laughs> it falls down. Um, they haven't taught me how to use the ability wheel. At all. <laughs> Quests. 
Oh, that's such a shame. Glossary, people, names, and there's no way to look at any kind of controls. That's such a shame. So unless I can figure out how to use the ability wheel, then it's it's going to be game over, I'm afraid. And I've tried clicking everything I can think of. I've clicked everything that I can think of. I've done alt, I've done control, shift, various numbers. I've tried clicking left and right, up and down. I've tried m the scroll wheel, I've tried going back to this, I've tried, I feel like I've tried everything at this point. I've tried everything at this point to try and get the ability wheel to work. So unfortunately that's it from me with this game. Because I can't figure out the ability wheel. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, I literally can't figure out what button it is to trigger the ability wheel. So unfortunately that's, that's the demo done. That's such a shame. That's such a shame. So um, yeah, thank you for checking out Cabernet with me, um, but unfortunately we're going to have to cut this one short because I just don't know how to access the ability wheel. So yeah, there we go. Um, I'll see you next time for some more new demos.